All right, here I am on my next video using video physics to analyze the motion of a ball that's rolling down an incline. So you can see that I've set up this table with um, books underneath the legs on one side to turn it into an incline. And now I'm just releasing the tennis ball from rest and letting it roll down the table. So the first thing I wanna do is to trim the video so that it starts right when I release the ball. So I'm going to advance the video and stop it right when I release it. That's probably good right there. I'm gonna say, done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open video physics and start a new experiment. I'm gonna choose an existing video and I'm gonna grab that video that I just saved. and double checking to see if that was the trimmed video. That's not the trimmed video. That's the trimmed video. All right, so um, I've got it right here. Okay, so again, like last time, I'm first gonna set the origin and the scale. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning to find the, be the um, place where the tennis ball starts. I'm still gonna track its front edge and then I'm gonna grab these markers to go and tell the, uh, the app how long one meter is. So I'm gonna go from corner to corner on the meter stick. And so it's tracking in the top, 1,124 pixels is now one meter. Now that I've set the origin and the scale, I'm gonna add my points. So I'm just gonna tap the front edge and here it barely moved at all, so I'm just gonna tap it again. And so now you can see, hmm, it's not moving as much as before. But I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna follow that front edge of the ball. And if this feels too boring, you can do this. I'm gonna select all of my dots and I'm gonna delete them. Okay, if I don't wanna put all these dots in by hand, I can tell Video Physics to track the motion of the ball. So I'm gonna highlight this or just draw this circle around the yellow center of the ball, maybe more like the yellow front of the ball. And I'm gonna tell uh, the software to follow those yellow pixels. And so if I hit track here in the bottom right corner, it's gonna do its best to follow those yellow pixels down the screen. And it says the object is lost, which is fine. Um, but one thing I can see is that as it tracked the motion of the ball, uh, the dots were really close together on this end, really close together, which means that the ball didn't move very far each frame. And then those dots got farther apart here and then quite far apart out here, so it's moving more distance each frame on this side than it is over here, which means that the ball isn't moving at constant speed, it's actually going faster and faster and faster. We say it's accelerating. So uh, just like last time, I'm gonna export this into the graphical analysis app. I'm gonna open it and copy it over. And so now I have these um, these new, these new graphs. I don't want the, the vertical position here. Uh, and so if I expand that, I get this curve. It's like a quadratic, right? Uh, if, a, if a ball is moving at constant speed, I get a straight line. But now if a ball is accelerating, if it's going faster and faster and faster, then I actually get a curve. And I'm gonna uh, screenshot this and then use this uh, for my analysis.